All right, just out with the pups. Uh, I don't know if you can see them in there. I can't see anything I'm looking at. Uh, little dog. Uh, I'm gonna gather some wintergreen here if it's the same place I remember it being. <laughs> Holmes doesn't like being tied up here. There he is, hooked to a branch and little dog. I'm gonna try to get some of this here. I believe it was underneath one of these trees in here. Let's take a look here. Okay, here we go. Ah, where are we at here? Okay, right here. Supposedly, that's wintergreen. We got some more up here, right here, and up and through here. Uh, there's only a little bit. If I can find a good amount more. Sorry, Holmes isn't too happy about being tied to a tree. If I can find a good more, about, uh, excuse me. There we go. There. If I can find a bunch of this, I'll make uh, a little cup of tea, possibly at home, so the dogs don't, you know, stay riled up here. But I don't know if you can see that here. Grows in little clumps. There. Uh, supposedly green during the winter, even though it's a little bit reddish uh, colored. But either way, it stays. With leaves on during the winter here. I'm just gonna pull a piece of that off. See if I can tell you what it tastes like. Okay, takes a little bit. At first it didn't taste like anything. But after chewing it up into you know mushing it. Palms, buddy. Settle down. Come here. Hey. <laughs> if he goes that way too far, he's gonna get the leash off the branch I put it on. Hopefully he doesn't. Come on over here. Come on. So. Anyway. Tastes like wintergreen. Like any gum you'd uh, get that says wintergreen on it. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm gonna try to pick some here if I can find some more. And uh shush and get the dogs moving again. Baby, come on, back up. You don't want to pull anything up by the roots. Hey bud, settle down. You don't want to pull anything up by the roots because then you kill off the plant. Just pull a couple leaves here and there. It should be good to go. I probably have about a tablespoon worth or so, a teaspoon worth, somewhere in there.
don't know if you can see in there. Probably been close to 10 minutes steeping. Not much of a color change at all. A little bit. All right, first taste of evergreen, evergreen tea. Let's try it out. It's hot. I think I could let it steep a little bit longer, maybe a lot longer. I cut it up into small pieces so that uh, you know it would, you know, create surface area, and, you know, make tea easier. But I don't know if it. Was enough. I should have crunched them up a bit too. Maybe let them sit in there a while. Hot water. Slight bit of a, you know, taste of uh, evergreen. Not bad. I don't know if this is the right time of year to to make this or not, but toss a little bit of honey in here. Holmes is yelling in the background. I got him in the pen. A little organic honey. Makes everything better, I think. Honey water. A little bit of peppermint. Or uh, evergreen. Uh, it's where wintergreen. A little bit of wintergreen flavor. I think maybe next time I'll let it sit quite a bit longer. Uh, make sure I'm doing it right. And give it a look online. Yeah, still not bad. Have something warm. It's cold out. That's it. If, uh, if I'm doing it wrong, let me know. If you got any tips for uh, wintergreen tea, please let me know. Now that I know where there's a big patch, I want to try it again. Thanks for watching.